This Easter Sunday, there are millions of people who need blood transfusions, some during surgery, others after an accident because they have a disease that requires blood components. Blood donation makes this all possible. Patty Flowers joins us live on Daybreak to share more. Thanks for waking up with us. I really You're appreciate welcome. It. You know, what blood type are you in dire need of right now? Well, I always say O negs are part of the trauma team. Mm -hmm. um, the, if, if you're in a trauma room and they don't have time to blood type a patient, they're going to grab O neg because you can give to anybody. So O negs are always in need. We can use A negative and B negative as well because those also can be transfused in quite a few more people. But any blood donations are necessary because we need about 14,000 a, a, a day in order to supply all the hospitals. We're the largest blood supplier in the nation and we supply about 2,600 hospitals with their needs. And the blood supplies only last a little over 42 days and then you have to get more. Correct. Um, so w what is the process for someone if I, if I were to come in, um, how long does it take and do you, what are the effects afterwards? It's about an hour altogether and um, the, the nice thing about it is that we now have something called Rapid Pass. So if you register online with Rapid Pass, it, you can answer all those questions ahead of time. You can come in and, and take about 15 minutes off of your time. Um, so it's really only about an hour to really truly think about saving up to three lives. Um, and and it's, uh, we have cookies and juice and lots of good snacks for you so that you walk out feeling really good afterwards. I mean, talk about the lives that we're saving here. Well, I, I can tell you in my life right now, I have several people who need transfusions. There's Jeff who's battling blood cancer. He's been having transfusions over two years and it's saving his life right now. Um, there's um, Emma who is in the hospital right now on her second round of leukemia. She requires often uh, blood transfusions. And then Rashonda is a sickle cell patient. She c has to come in every once in a while and get a, a, a transfusion. And then there's the trauma patients. Think right. about all those accidents that happen. You know, across the country, when you think about it, and especially with some of this weather that's been happening, mm -hmm. a lot of times the blood drives are canceled in those areas. So all the more important for places like us who aren't having the, the bad weather to come out and donate. P please do, because it's so necessary. And platelets, you also need those? We do, and their shelf life is only five days. Um, platelets are great for people who have clotting problems, things like that. Um, but yeah, only five days. So we're, we need those on a consistent basis as well. well I appreciate your time. Uh, you know, it's so important to make sure that you get out into the community, and this is one right. easy way to give. You know, and it just takes a small amount of time. Yeah, people are feeling pretty good on Easter Sunday. Right. If they'll go out and donate, that would be a wonderful thing. Thank you so much. You're if welcome. you'd like to donate, you can schedule an appointment. There's many various locations. You can find the location nearest to you by and donate by calling one eight hundred Red Cross. Patty Flowers, thanks so much for waking up with us. I appreciate it. We have a